I divorced my husband because he cheated behind my back three years ago. He cheated on me with my younger sister. They sent me the invitation letter for their wedding. My mother also said that she'll attend the ceremony. I felt my mother also had betrayed me. Then to me she said this, I'll do something fun, you just wait and see. Had a plan to punish the two of them. My name is Emma. My husband and I worked in the same company, and I was his boss. He was a little unreliable but sincere and friendly. I was in charge of his training and teaching him the ropes of the job. At first, he was nervous about the unfamiliar work, but gradually we grew close. Uma, are you free on our next day off? I was surprised when he asked me out on a date, but thrilled to see how manly he was outside the office, which made my heart skip a beat. Since then, we often went out together. Emma, will you be my girlfriend? Six months after we officially started dating, he was able to handle his work all by himself. He had truly become an asset to our company. Emma, well, I want you to marry me. Yes, I'd be happy to. My parents and younger sister Kate immediately liked Liam, and our wedding proceeded smoothly. Kate, who was the same age as Liam, got along well with him right away. Ah, you are so lucky to marry him, a kind man like Liam, and it looks like people at work have high expectations from him, right? She had just broken up with her boyfriend, seemed to be yearning for marriage, and kept expressing how jealous she was of me. After her wedding, I continued working and taking care of household chores, supporting Liam both at work and in our personal lives. Well, at least I thought I was supporting him. About a year after our marriage, he started coming home later and later, and we hardly ever had dinner together. Hey, Liam, we haven't talked about work lately. Is everything okay? Nothing's wrong but you've been coming home late every day. If there's anything I can do to help, there isn't. Is that so? He used to talk to me about everything, but lately he seemed annoyed when I brought up work. On his days off, he'd either sleep all day, claiming he was tired, or go out to clear his head. Feeling that we hadn't been spending any quality time together, I made a suggestion to Liam. Hey, Liam, how about we go to the spa together during next month's holiday? My sister recommended a place to us. A spa, huh? Spa is a place where we can heal our body and mind from the daily stresses at work. He seemed to be busy, so I prepared a hotel reservation with the spa for him. And one week before the spa trip, Liam, what time should we leave the house next week? Ha. Huh. Oh, is the spa trip next week? I forgot to mention that I have to go on a business trip during the next weekend. What? But you've known about the spa trip for quite some time. Well, it's works, so it can't be helped, right? I see. Liam's department seemed to be as busy as ever with frequent business trips. It seems I had no choice but to give up this time as well. Well, I'm often. As always... Liam left early in the morning for his business trip. Ah, if things had gone as planned, we would have been heading to the spa together by now. While I was feeling down, I got a phone call. The call was from the hotel where I had made a reservation. Despite having sent a cancellation email, it seems they did not receive it due to an error and called to confirm our arrival time. That's right, I might as well invite Kate. I called my parents' house, but it turned out Kate had been out since the morning and wouldn't be back home. So, I decided to invite my mother to the spa as a last resort. Compared to my sister, I had half given up on the idea that my mother would be able to go on such short notice, but surprisingly, she agreed. Really? Is it okay to leave Dad alone? Right now, I'm more worried about you than your father. It seemed she had noticed that I had been down lately and decided to accompany me on the trip. Thanks, Mom. I'm the one who should be thanking you. 
I'm happy to be able to take a trip with just you like this. I decided to enjoy the trip with my mother, which I hadn't done in a long time. However, my mother and I witnessed something at the hotel when we arrived there. Mom, look at that. At the hotel was Liam, who was supposed to be on his business trip. He was arm in arm with a woman looking happy and entering the hotel where we were supposed to stay. The moment they entered the hotel, the woman who was with Liam turned her face in our direction for a moment. You've got to be kidding. The woman who was with Liam was my sister Kate. After that, I was in a state of shock and don't remember much about how I got home. After drinking some tea my mother made for me, my feelings finally started to calm down. He had been deceiving me. Not just Liam, I had also been deceived by Kate. After calming down, I called Liam's department. As I had thought, his department had been trying to reduce their workload for the past few years, and they were not making the employees go on business trips, or even having the employees do any overtime as much as possible. When I told my mother about the days when Liam came home late or the days he was on business trips, it seems that Kate was also not at home during those days, which was mentioned coincidentally. All those days when he came home late and went on business trips, it meant that he was meeting up with Kate, huh? When I learned the truth, what welled up inside me was anger rather than sadness. Mother, I'll divorce Liam. I don't want to see Kate, so I won't visit the house for a while. She kept silent and understood my feelings. I prepared everything right before Liam came back. I have prepared the divorce papers, made a new contract with a new house for me to live in, and packed up my belongings, and already moved into an apartment where I can live before I officially move into a new house. I put the letter in the divorce papers for Liam at the house. All the details regarding alimony and such will be handled through the lawyer, as stated in the letter, and I blocked all his contacts. I didn't want Kate and Liam to know, so I didn't tell my parents about my new address. We worked in the same company, so we would pass each other occasionally, but I completely ignored him then. Perhaps realizing how utterly helpless the situation was, he immediately agreed to the divorce. He didn't tell anyone the reason for our divorce to our colleagues, but they seemed to have sensed it from how I was being, and they decided not to touch on the subject of our divorce. And so three years passed while I had some distance from him and from my family. After finishing work and returning to my room, I found my mother standing in front of me. Mom, what's wrong? I have something I want to tell you. My mother showed me an invitation. This is from Liam and Kate. It turns out that Kate left our family home and moved in with Liam. I thought they might get married, but I never expected them to have a wedding ceremony and invite our parents. So, Mom, are you going? Of course I am. I see. I was the only one who couldn't forgive the two of them yet. Surely they must have known that, which was why they invited only our parents to the wedding. I had no right to say anything since I had become distant from both Liam and my parents. Seeing me depressed, my mother smiled and said, Don't worry. I'm not going to do it because I forgive them. Just wait and watch. And on the day of the wedding, my mother called me through a video call. I didn't want to see their faces. I was about to hang up the call, but I remembered my mother's words from earlier on and kept the call connected. The screen showed a slideshow that was being presented. The MC began introducing the slides. This slideshow was made by the bride's mother. She gathered photos from her beloved daughter's birth to the present and created this slideshow. I was surprised that my mother, who was not really good with technology, could create such a slideshow and brought back a feeling of depression inside me. Mom, you do this much for Kate. But the next moment, I was captivated by the screen. This isn't Kate. The slideshow started with a photo of me when I was born. So cute. There's a resemblance to Kate somehow. As the guests watched with a relaxed atmosphere, Kate's expression stiffened. The MC continued. 
Since she was young, the bride has always been devoted to her family. She was a diligent student and succeeded in entering her desired university. After starting her job, she became a very reliable employee at the company. Kate's friends and colleagues who knew about her student days and workplace began to buzz with excitement. Ha, huh, is that a photo from the welcome party at university? Kate didn't go to such a good university, did she? Hey, isn't that a photo from the company's welcome party? Wait a minute, looking closely, it's completely different. Wait, if this isn't Kate. Liam also seemed to have noticed. What the hell is this? This isn't Kate. The MC, unaware of the bride and groom's pale faces, continued to advance the slides. And then she met the groom, Liam, at the company. According to the bride's mother, she initially taught and trained the groom as his instructor. Then the two got married. Ha! Huh? What followed were photos from my wedding with Liam. The MC couldn't hide their confusion. Realizing something was wrong, the MC got quiet. At that moment, my mother took the stage and grabbed the microphone. From here on, I'll take over and explain. She smoothly spoke while amassing the slides. Even after marriage, my daughter supported him in both personal and professional aspects. However, due to how busy Liam got, he couldn't find any time for her. So, my daughter planned a spa trip to help relieve his stress. Wait, please. Ignoring Kate's pale face and his frantic attempts to stop her, my mother continued with the slides. The next photo showed the two entering the spa hotel together, being very close to each other. Finally, the bride and groom appeared in the photos, and both the MC and the guests finally got quiet at once. However, Liam and Kate continued to be even more pale. But Liam declined the trip planned by my daughter due to a business trip, says it couldn't be helped that he had to go on a business trip for work. My daughter invited me to the spa trip, and that was where we witnessed his affair. With these words, everyone started to talk and buzz about what had been said by my mother. Huh? An affair? And this wedding is for Kate and Liam, right? Could it be that this wedding is based on their affair? But why would Kate's mother? To answer the guest's questions, my mother slowly continued. Liam swore to marry my beloved daughter Emma and make her happy, but instead, he betrayed her. To make matters worse, he cheated on Emma with her own sister, Kate. Mother, stop it already. Today is my wedding day. Why won't you celebrate my happiness? Kate cried as she tried to stop her mother. Still, my mother coldly looked at Kate and said, I have always wished for your happiness, but you were the one who ruined it first. That's Emma. She always considered not only herself, but also the happiness of her family. What about you, Kate? Have you ever thought about how much Emma would be hurt by your actions? Well, there. She always seems so happy. It's not fair. So, instead of being happy for your family, you just got jealous, huh? Mother-in-law, please stop. She is your precious daughter too, right? If that's the case, can't you celebrate our new beginning? Why are you doing this? I don't want to become a family with someone as dishonest as you. I saw it clearly at today's ceremony. If you really intend to start something with Kate, why didn't you invite a single person from your own company? If you're going to have such a grand ceremony, shouldn't you apologize to Emma? It's selfish to invite me and her father to the wedding without making any effort like that. But Emma has been ignoring me all this time. Of course she has after what you've done, it's only natural. But that's all in the past, isn't it? Do you think her wounds will heal in just three years? And do you think that you can regain our trust in such a short time? Don't be ridiculous. After those words, my mother angrily left the venue with my father. I can hear my mother's voice from the cell phone. Did you see that, Emma? Yes. I'm sorry for reminding you of painful things. 
I just can't stand seeing those two act like nothing happened. No, thank you. I feel relieved. It's like you said everything I wanted to say. That's right. Emma, you always keep everything to yourself. I thought it was just too kind of you to not tell your colleagues the reason for your divorce. After that, my mother sent me the recording of her conversation with Liam during the wedding. Indeed, as my mother said, even if time passes, it's not easy to forget. Moreover, Liam showed no signs of remorse whatsoever, calling it a thing of the past. I decided to start my second life by giving Liam a proper punishment. I chose to punish him while he was doing a presentation at the company. It was open to volunteers from various departments, so I quickly signed up and entered the conference. When it was Liam's turn, his supervisor, unaware of his remarriage, said this, Liam, you seem even more motivated today because you just got married. Yes, I will do my best for my family, he also spoke happily. He should have known that I was in the room, but I became even more determined and played the recorded audio I received from my mother. The participants were surprised by the sudden noise coming from the recorded audio, but as they learned about his affair with my sister after marrying me, they began to accuse him. Liam, didn't you say that the reason for the divorce was a difference in values? I couldn't help but burst into laughter. Oh, really? Did you say something like that? Well, I can't also understand a value that involves cheating with your own wife's sister, though. I apologize for mixing personal matters into this important internal presentation. I have decided to quit as of today. I have endured it because I like this company, but I cannot bear to be in the same place as him any longer. Just as I was about to leave, the board members intervened to stop me. Wait a minute. Emma, you're an essential asset to our company. If someone should leave, it should be Liam. Ha? Huh? But me? But I've been expected to have a promising future. We had expectations in the past, but lately you've been wearing worn-out clothes and you're not focused. It seems like you've completely lost your problem-solving abilities that you had before. We're not expecting a lot out from you anymore. Kate, who has always been bad at housework and did nothing even when she was living with her parents, became a full-time housewife after marriage, and apparently she left most of the house chores for Liam to do. Even when he faced difficulties at work, I couldn't give him advice like I used to, and he started causing more troubles at work. The fact that he had cheated on his wife's sister spread within the company, and his reputation went all downhill. At the board meeting, it was decided that I would remain at the company and Liam would be transferred to a remote area as an employee who is to be laid off in the future. Kate, who had been enjoying her life as a housewife with his money, easily abandoned him when she found out, so she switched to another man. But it seems that the person she switched to was a typical freeloader. She is now suffering from his debts and desperately working two jobs all through day and night. As they say, what goes around comes around. If you do something wrong, it will come back to haunt you. Watching the two of them in such a state, I finally felt that I could start a new life.